everybody. Welcome to the Pulp City Battle Report. I'm back with Jay. Hey. And we have painted some more stuff up, and we're ready for our second game of the Pulp City Supreme Edition. Uh, the Red Republic against Team Spybreaker. USA! <laughs> USA! I'm not going to tell you that, that that's, that's not going to happen, because we're now fighting outside of the Red Republic. We've <laughs> taken it to the mean streets of Pulp City, uh, and we'll be throwing out some new stuff. And some new types of models, too. We'll be using powerhouses today. Yeah. Uh, more support minis, brawlers, shot collars, all that stuff. <laughs> Um, and we've painted up some of the models when it comes to shot colors. Right? I know, I don't know. I, not, I wish there was a class called shot <laughs> color because I would love to be a shot color. I guess that's what leader is technically is a shot color. Um, and we've also painted up some civilians. So we've got our civilians ready to rock and roll, um, which means we'll have some actual civilian models on the table. Um, so we're going to show you the table setup, we'll show you the mission and the agendas, and we'll get started. Boop. So here's our table set up for 12 levels of time bomb. So time bomb is a 30 mil marker in the middle of your deployment zone. and both teams are trying to pick it up and move it to the enemy deployment zone. And if they successfully do that um, without having one in their deployment zone, they get three agenda points. Uh, if both have an enemy um, time bomb in the deployment zone at the end of the game, each side gets one. So here's my 12 levels of Red Republic. We've got two red robots, a gunner and a, um, what is it, a gunner and a buzzkill. Uh, then we've got Chernobog, the brawler. We've got a Turncoat, who is the uh, support character. We've got Mechved, who's a powerhouse. We've got Snischenka, who is a, um, I believe she's a tank and a blaster, depending upon which mode she's in, because she can be an Ice Witch or a Snow Witch. Uh, and then we have another Brawler, which is Prisoner 176, which is a, uh, looks like one of the uh, Ark, who has been put in prisoner and, and been given giant metal spider arms. Uh, and there's my new miniatures I painted up just for today. I wanted to use all the new miniatures I could, so I'm using no new miniatures, or sorry, no miniatures from my uh, my first game from the Let's Play, uh, and trying all this new stuff. And here's my civilian pool. So you have to have a civilian for every level you're playing. Some of these are models I'd already painted, but I also I actually just painted um, the football star here, the hall monitor, uh, this wild in the streets uh, straight edge punk. And then Rasputin and the uh, the brawling skinhead back here just for today. The rest of these are some of the goth gang um, from, uh, sorry, the one, two, three guy, the dude in the trench coat, and then these two punks are goths. One of the uh, not suicide girls, the murder cult girls, and then Sid the Krusty Punk. So I've got 10 here, but Jay's also painted 10. We have a good selection of uh, citizenry to have on the table here for uh, our sub objectives. And here's all of Team Spybreaker, but what are you deploying today? Uh, today it's going to be A Beast. A Beast. Uh, Cold Fire. Yep. Battlesuit 7. That's in there. Spybreaker. Yep. And Sabotage. And Sabotage. So today is Infiltrator and uh, the dogs not showing up to party. Correct. And then over here you've got your 10. So for my um, for my civilians, I rebased, repainted, touched up uh, some Heroclix models. Uh, so for, for some of their older sets, you could get the secret identity versions of... A bunch superheroes. Of heroes. So yep. seven of those ten are actually Marvel and DC superheroes in their street clothes. In their street clothes. That's awesome. But perfect civilian models for Pulp City. So we'll roll for tactical war terrain advantage, seeing who gets the highest roll. Uh, so it's me. I will take the tactical advantage, not the terrain advantage. So you get to choose the deployment side. Um, and I get to pick the first plot. So um, we have to choose uh, one from each of the types, so Citizens, Supremes, and City. I'm going to start with Citizens. So I chose Fan Favorite, which means that as soon as a Supreme does three or more EFX, um, within the nearest system within six inches is tagged. Um, and I've got lots of guys here that will generate EFX relatively easily. So uh, Mechved here being a... Um, a, uh, whatchamacallit, a powerhouse, he generates EFX on a 4+, plus. so just him murdering people, the citizens within 6 inches will be super impressed, and as long as I tag one, it's immediately removed for an extra point. I'm going to go with first blood, I'm going to keep mine simple. Okay. Uh, so the goal is to be the first one to KO an enemy supreme. Uh, there's no extra rules attached to it, so the first team to KO a supreme earns 1 AGP. Awesome. So you're going to do real estate as the third one, tag more structures. So at the end of the game, the team with the most tagged structures scores an AGP, basically to end your turn in base to base of the structure to tag it. He's going to start deploying his citizens. We each get six. They have to be anywhere in the middle stretch of the board, not within three of the deployment zones, not within 13 of, sorry, four of the deployment zones, not within 13 of the edge here, um, not within six of a table edge or four of each other. There's 12 to put, or to, yeah, 12 to put down. And our citizenry is deployed. We've got a scattering of citizens all over the place, including one. Now they go on a building because he couldn't fit anywhere else. Uh, they've been waiting for the boss and all of a sudden a fight between the Supremes breaks out. 
Uh, and these guys are going to get real impressed watching things as they scatter for Terra 4 inches every turn, which I think we forgot to do in the last game. You know when you say a fight between the Supremes breaks out, I'm totally picturing Diana Ross. Of course! Somebody That's around. exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. There's a lot of slapping happening. Jay has a leader, and I do not. He's going to get some leader cards. He gets the Supreme Alliance Grace Generation, which is free because of his build. And then he's got First Aid, discard for heal two on two friendly Supremes, Inspirational Speech, discard to instantly add plus AP, 4 AP to your um, action pool, and Upper Hand. Automatically win the tactics roll. If both players have this card, the cards are negated. So we've already made the tactics roll. He's going to pick a different card because it's not the starting roll. Starting roll. There you go. Um, so you won the terrain roll, which means you get to deploy your team first, and I'll go back after. So Jay's picked this side over here. I actually deploy first, which means he can see where my team goes before he starts deploying. All right, we are deployed. I've got uh, the uh, Buzzkill and Gunner with Turncoat, Mechved, Snischenka, and Perrin, and then hanging out over here, Prisoner 176. Across from me, we've got the Spy Breaker. Who's this? Uh, sabotage. Sabotage, yep. Cold Fire. A Beast. And then Battle Suit 7 is in the back with the bomb. In the rear with the gear. All right, so we are ready for round one, and that means we're going to make our opposed brain rolls. I will have Snischenka be my leader for this one. She is brain four. You got Spy Breaker. I am brain five. Is it a Trump? It is not. Okay, so straight dice. You're going first. Checking in our pools, we both have 14 dice this turn for our action pools. Um, I have nine, plus I have five guys within six of turncoat over here. You've got 10, plus you've got four folks within range of, uh, what's her face? Um, sabotage. Sabotage. So I'm gonna activate Coal Fire. Uh, he's gonna do a move action first. So All I'm gonna right. spend one of my dice. No, no, it's no dice, it's just a fatigue. Oh, right, You sorry. become fatigued, that's right. Walk up. So he's gonna go four. And does he fly or walk? Kind of flies. Yeah. Nice. Some action points. Uh, to do fire shapes. All right. So I am summoning a structure, which is a fire fist. So shooting six, target number eight. And two. That's a trump, and you can reroll. You got one EFX as well, which will power him up with a power die, and he gets to place his fist. And I got one EFX because we got to keep track as we go, yep. right? No, no, no. It's only if you get it three at once. You oh, get, you to, yeah, you have to max out within six inches to tag somebody. Our fist is going to show up with an eight and start throwing fireballs. Only one fatigue, that guy could possibly use some more stuff. He's also got extra um, action point slots available later on. So I'm going to decide to go with somebody else. Let's do Snischenka, because I forgot I had to pick this bomb up. All right, so she's just going to take a walk four and end in base to base with this to pick it up. So she'll take a damage anytime she moves. What do you? All right, I am going to activate a beast. All right. So first up, I'm going to move. So take one walk. He is so moving. He's gonna leap forward five. Hurl. And he gets one fatigue. So I'm gonna exchange his two power-up dice. Okay. For two extra points of defense. Dice. Which is his armadillo ability. Armadiller. So he's armadilloing. He's armadilloing for his two power dice. Got it. Yeah. Well, let's roll up with the old turncoat. Turncoat is going to make an advance. And he'll advance up four with stealth, because he's just awesome like that. To here. Just getting within six of this flamey thing, because nobody likes flamey things. We'll spend two action points for a loaded shot into you. So I am uh, Trump Trait, so two dice. Strong versus all, so three dice. And I get a reroll here. I'm looking for a four to hit, because it's effectively a target number. And I'm going to roll an additional one, make a reroll. Uh, so I do hit and does two damage, but because there's no Trump, or sorry, there's no uh, EFX, it's not going to take it out. It's got one damage left. So finisher. Uh, it's projection six versus run, damage one, no EFX. Now it is shoot, so it's uh, gonna be trump, so two dice and a reroll, you get four. Oh, but he get a reroll. Nope, it's gonna miss. He's done for the, the current thing, so it's over to you. So we'll activate sabotage. Listen to all y'all. <laughs> so she is gonna run for the ladder. Okay. So that's, oops, that is four. So she'll be one inch up the ladder. Sounds good. And then she's still got a second fatigue. Your second fatigue, head to the top. So she is going to be Oop. right at the top of the ladder. And to she's done. All right. So it's back over to me. I'm going to activate Red Robot Gunner, and he's going to move forward. So I have to move to exhaustion. So move and then move again. Head over to here. And he's going to take a cannon shot into your little Bernie hand. I guess I, I guess I can't do that because I don't want to use blast, and I don't want to accidentally kill all the people standing around him. So I guess we'll just not shoot. That's what seven's going to go. Who's going to start sprinting with the the bomb? Yep. Uh, so he's gonna take a point of damage. Each time he moves. Oh, each time he moves. Yeah. That's bad news because he's gonna move twice. Okay. So he becomes sprint, sprint. Whoop. And takes your damage. 
All right, so back over to me. I'm gonna have my red robot go. Uh, I'm gonna have Senka go, actually. She's just gonna move once, four, and take a point of damage. Boop. And then she's gonna drop the bomb in base to base with her. Back over to you. She's not doing anything this turn because she's not transforming. I'm gonna activate Spybreaker. And he's gonna start legging it up here towards your experimental prisoner guy. I like the sound of this. Running 10. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, well then, if that's the case, we're gonna have Prisoner 176 go, uh, and he's gonna move four over to here, and then he's gonna move four again over to here. He's gonna throw a stop sign at you, cause yeah, he is. It's two, um, and it's FX damage two, EFX damage one, and it's Momele's versus your dodginess. Dodgy five trump trait versus my punchy five trump trait. I'm a bigger base than you though, so I get an extra die because it's a punch versus a thing. Uh, and I get a reroll, which I will. That's a six on these, don't forget. Yep, it is. Yep, I just want to see if I get another EFX. So I get a reroll. Now you get one reroll as well. Yeah, look for the six. Nope. So you get two VFX though, mm -hmm. um, which lets you so cancel, hard, which lets you cancel one of mine. Okay. So I won't get a VFX either. So I'm gonna hit you with it. Kills it. And then you get hit for two damage. I'm a brawler too. My fisty attacks, I get an extra dice on, but it didn't do anything. Brawler only works in base to base. Never mind. Not just punchy attacks. And I'm gonna take another two AP for my AP pool, and I'm gonna throw this uh, Jersey barrier. Well, it's five against five. We both have Trump trait, but I have size matters for bigger base. Six and a four. Five and a three. Oh, double six. Give me a six. No nope. blam. No, it's in one roll. It's, in oh, a, it's, sing in one it's roll. a single roll. Yep. Uh, and you have to be making an action. So uh, this is gonna miss. Circle back to Spybreaker. Because okay. Because he hasn't spent all his action points. Nope. And you no longer have a jersey barrier to hide behind because you just threw it at me like I a jerk. I did. That's right. You're gonna shield throw? I am going to throw my shield at you. Sounds good. Uh, so I it's shield versus shield. Okay, so I'm four Trump. Uh, and I am strong versus all with that, and I'm Trump. Okay, so you get three to my two dice. Uh, I get two Trumps and a 10? So you're, you're at 11 right now, so you win, but I'll cancel one of your trumps with mine, so you get no trumps. Okay. Or no, sorry, extra e EFXs, sorry? Yeah, sorry. But I got an 11. Okay, and you hit me once, so what's the basic? Uh, damage one and knock back one. Okay, so I can move back an inch, directly away, and I'll take a damage. It'll push me just out of range to be uh, slapped out again with a shield attack. Okay, so that was three action points, and then he's done. Okay, he's gonna go. He is going to fly five. Eh, he's gonna double fly. No, I don't quite make it. So, I don't quite make it over there either. So we're gonna double fly and go 10. And just be over here. I'm gonna do an Umber Bolt now for two AP. Um, and it's going to be against Spybreaker. It's me two, it is strong versus all, so I'm gonna be three dicing this. Oh, and it's five against your shield. So apparently one so of the things- Against I, your dodginess. I forgot, is with my shield supreme ability. Uh, you can always use shield, had, that's right. No, but I had plus one die when defending against Fist, shield, yeah, like everything. Everything. All right. Just so, so, you're, all. so you're rolling, you're rolling three dice because yeah. it's Trump too, and I've got three dice as well. So let's see what we get. So you get pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna get one roll as well. Pretty good. I think we tie. I'm gonna spend two to try it again. Same, same thing. Same thing. I like it, but I don't like it. We both get a reroll. And we tie again. Well, Spybreaker actually matches that at six action points, so I can now throw my shield at Perrin. Sure can. And I will. Go for it. Uh, I'm against shields. I'm just four. Oh, I'm strong against everything. That's, That's right. Fine. I got a six. You got a what? Well, you got a better than six. I got a eight. Go for it. But no VFX. Right. Damage one. No VFX there. So it's back over to me. It's time to activate Mechved. He's going to go. Um, and he's gonna walk five, and then five again into base to base with your flame thing. Whoop. I'm gonna rending smash you, uh, which costs me two AP. I've got three left, so I go down to one. Uh, and I might as well put one extra dice into this. So I am very big. Uh, I'm seven. I, I just rolled anything here. Hey, look, I rolled anything. You're dead. Done. Battle suit seven. Two battle suit seven. I'm gonna launch a rocket barrage at Perrin. No! Nah, because you're too far away. Too far away. I forgot. <laughs> and you've already moved twice. Yeah, I have. He's just gonna walk again. Oh, this is happening. Bever's armadillo. <laughs> so close. And that's him all feeny. So we're gonna have my, uh, what's it called, buzzkill go. He's gonna walk into base space with this and become stunned. 
Uh, and you are just doing a pass, uh, mm -hmm. you're done activating, so I just get to activate the rest of my guys. Um, we will activate Little Red Robot. He's gonna go and move another four, no, oh, three, sorry. Head over here. Take a damage, and then he'll spend my last AP to try and repair that damage. Which looks hit. like turn one complete. Uh, we've managed to not impress any citizens this turn. I should have done all my rerolls with Mechved to see if I was able to do that. Um, and no first bloods. Oh, wait, I got first blood. I killed one of your. Oh, is it Supremes? I don't think I actually get it for killing that. Oh, thing. yeah, I think it's Supremes. I have to imagine. Yeah, it's be Supreme. Yep, so I, not minions and stuff, so I don't get it for blowing up the little guy. Uh, and that's it, we're on a turn two. You know, however, tag a building here, because you're in base to base with it, uh, and tag a building and structure. I completely forgot that was an emission objective and didn't tag anything. I forgot. All right, so I've got 13 action points this turn to the 12 that Jay has, because uh, of uh, Zabotage being a bit further away now than normal. Uh, power up dice of three on old Mechved. Blitz. I'm gonna use Blitz tactics, so I'm gonna get plus three dice to a single starting roll. Looks good. And I'm also gonna get plus one die because it's second turn and he's Spybreaker. That's right, and Spybreaker levels up every turn. So now your stat is six. And I'm getting five dice. And you're getting five <laughs> dice. Hey look, I didn't roll a six. Oh, I didn't roll a six, but you cheated me out of it. Oh my gosh, I would've won that too. That's okay. Uh, well, so, no. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so I got no, two. You got six. So you got, you got to go first, it's fine. It was all still in the air. It was all still in the air. Um, so you get to choose for Supreme. A-Beast. A-Beast, Armadillo It's Armadillo versus Bear. Bear. It's, it really is the contest of champions. It's been, it's been talked about for years. Uh, so you can go ahead and move in. Oh. Hold on a sec. It's okay. all you. So A-Beast is gonna initiate his power takedown ability. Uh-oh. So it's close combat, so it's my punchiness. Yep against your shield. Okay, so I am shieldiness five. Going big to four dice with both your power dice. Um, and I will just wait on this, go right ahead. Okay. So you get a six, I get a five, I'll reroll my four. Nope. So I get a total of 10 to your- 13. 13, so you definitely hit me. And did you cancel, oh you cancel my EFX because you- No, because I rerolled and got a three. But you didn't get any EFX because you didn't roll anything outside then four plus. You get one. You know, it's for each additional one after your highest. Oh, size. my bad. Yeah. Do the base damage. So base damage is two. Okay. AB smash me. I'm going to react with a cornered animal for one AP. Miss red card animal. I can only do that when you move into base to base. I thought I could do it anytime you attack me in base to base, but that's all good. So go ahead and hit me again. Uh, this time I don't have my extra dice. Okay. I've got my trump, so. I still have my trump, but. You get a six. I get a six. I think you still hit me because you're seven. Yeah, so that's And you still get a 14. VFX. Uh, I. Do as well, so I'll cancel your VFX. That's a good deal for you. Okay. <laughs> so how much damage? Uh, so you take two more damage. Okay. So last action on him, he's gonna armadillo up and armadillo boast, boost his defense to seven. Uh, to six actually. Okay. Chernobog is gonna go. He's gonna move. This first one over to here in the base base with Spybreaker. I'm gonna try and punch you with my power smash. Uh, I am. Oh, I could also Umber Voltex. No, let's not do that. So let's just power smash you. Um, so you are going to be taking close combat five against your shield. Trump Brawler for three dice. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I'll reroll my two. So I got nothing because you, you my best. do your thing. Yeah, so I'll spend two more. Oh, the sixes. So many sixes. You are full no damage there for old Chernobog. Matage, we keep forgetting, puts two action dice into the pool for the first person to spend AP. So you will gain that. Alright, he's gonna go. Gonna activate Spybreaker. He's gonna give an inspirational speech. Uh-oh. About the glory of America That's for right. four extra action dice. Oh no! This is gonna be so much greatness coming now from America. Let's do it. Punch the Perrin. Alright. You've got Trump, Shield Supreme, Supreme Soldier thing. So you've got four dice, four dice to my one. I got a that. You hit me with three, two VFX, and that's three VFX. Sorry, no, it's only two. That's you only need to get two, three right? to impress them. Damage and knock back one. So I'll get pushed an inch back. And I'll take two damage. And we're gonna do it again. Uh, I'm at nine. You're at ten. ten so you hit me just. Uh, I'll take two damage and knock back one again. Uh, no, if I don't have a VFX, it's just one damage. Just one damage? Okay, just take and one no damage. We're about to move all the citizens during the effects phase. So everybody's going to run towards the table edge and be like, peace out. We did not want any of this to happen. Everything Stop is bad. Stop saving us. <laughs> this has all gone terribly wrong. So this, this guy way. is actually going to take both of his moves just because yep. it's going to drop him to the base of the ladder. They just move four inches. That's it. 
So he's no, I know, once. but yeah, but once. oh yeah, he's in the middle of the thing. I got it. What nice. I'm saying. Oh, I didn't move. Coming up over here. Yep. Uh, it's back over to me. I think it's bear o'clock. Bear arms. I'm gonna unbearably assault you uh, and try to do some punchy flash. Um, I am. Uh, what is it? Wild animal. No, I don't get that one yet. I'm just two for trump traits. I'm gonna dump all three of my power dice into it for a grand total of five. Oh, I'm, guys yeah, I'm melee seven, your defense six because your armor doubled up. Yeah. So I get my six, and I get one VFX. That you get a four. A no, it has to be your second roll. It's your, it's a dice, it's dice past your initial one that are your VFX. VFX there, which it means that Mechved can pick an extra damage or he can push you backwards. Um, he's gonna do that and. Oh, and it's strong versus models with full AP. Ah, so I get two VFX. Um, so he gets two damage, EFX extra damage. So four damage total. And then Tooth and Claw, I get to instantly make a movement action with no fatigue. So I'm just gonna make a move to the other side of you. Two to do it again. Whoa! Nope. And you got a four and a one, so you reroll to a six, which means I have to get a six. I got five die. I get a bunch of sixes. Um, so you cancel one of my VFX, yeah. so I only get one, uh, and that's gonna mean I do three damage this time. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my last, yeah, I'm fine where I am. So you're gonna activate Cold Fire. Sounds good. So he's gonna move up. Not into base to base. Not, to, not into base to base. Don't base. I get wild animals or corn animals? <laughs> no. Nope, sounds good. Uh, and then I'm gonna shoot flames at you. Okay, three dice, uh, a thing of six, it's, what's it against? Is it against my? Oh, I'm sorry, um, against shield. Shield, so I'm five with Trump. And you get a, I got a total of nine. I got 11. Okay, and you got uh, VFX. I can cancel it though, because I got a four plus. Okay. You're doing it again. Yeah. Oof. Uh, you hit me. Uh, and I don't cancel your trump, so you get a trump, or sorry, you get a VFX, sorry. Uh, so then it's three damage. All right. Fed, not feeling so good. Not feeling so good at all. Uh, I think it's time for- Red Warrior is dying. Red Warrior is dying. Red Warrior needs food. Um, I think it's time for Mechved to move, and he is going to move uh, once over here, and then once again into base to base back here. Didn't realize ending in base to base caused me to suffer a point of damage, so I will uh, take a point of damage from being near cold fire. Gonna activate battle suit seven. Sounds good. So he's gonna move, which means he's gonna take a point of damage. Okay. He's gonna move up to five, which I think should get it done. Yep. Or repair. Sorry, Chernobog rather. So this is fist versus shield. Okay. I have trump. I'm on a bigger base. I'm a tank. Nice to my one. I got a 10. I got an 11. Okay. And a trump, yeah. And one VFX, yep. So uh, that means you take three damage. Ouch. And you knock back four. Oof, way back there. Get the oh, I'm not nice. walking. I'm in a rush. Oh, you're in a rush? I'm only four inches away and I move oh. five, so. <laughs> And then, hey, guess what? Punch me again. We're gonna do four dice again. Uh, fist versus shield. I got a nine. I did it! I did it! You did it. Yeah! That's an eight. We're going to activate Turncoat, um, and he's gonna spend three for some loaded shot. Should've given him loaded shot. Um, it is blasty, so it's trump four. I'm sorry, uh, And then see. strong versus all against a beast. a beast. So choosing to use against his shield for a six, but it's no longer trump, so no reroll. So eight. eight, and I get a nine. I'll reroll this one. I get a nine, so it's just gonna be two damage. Move turncoat then. He's gonna take a walk. He walks four. With stealth, he's just gonna head over this way. You. I'm gonna use my first aid card. Good call. <laughs> to heal two points of damage on battle suit seven and, and two eight, points of damage eight eight on beast. Makes sense. Which I was just gonna walk up to the edge of that. I'm going to have prisoner one, seven, six go. He's gonna walk four. Whoop. Over to within two inches of you. And he has a special rule where his tentacles, he gets to fight within two inches as if he was oh, in cool. base. Melee versus TN7 for plus three attack dive and self damage one. Trump here needs a two plus. I'm sorry. He's gonna get it, is there's no, this is just myself. Is yep. So I get one, um, so I'm gonna take a damage and then get three extra attack dice. One, my last two action dice is gonna go into attacking you. So I've got Brawler for three with Trump and then get three extra dice from my Unbound. 
Um, and that means I am melee five against your shieldiness, which is six, six. Trump. And you're, do you get bigger for this? So you get three dice to my six, and you can reroll one. So you get a five, you go to 11. I actually can't win now. Uh, not that it matters, I get 11. Uh, and I get one, two, three trumps. So, so you'll break the tie here because you are, we forgot that ties are beaten by um, origin. Origin. So you are nature to my science, which means I miss. All right, and that's him done and all my action points done, but you've still got some guys who are not fully fatigued who can move. Uh, they're good where they are though, so I okay. don't need to move anymore. Uh, I am gonna move some people. We're gonna roll up six and take two damage on this little guy. Um, I get to have Turncoat go again. He's just going to move slightly back to here. Uh, Snischenka is going to go. She's going to go eight and fly over to here. And then Perrin's going to go, and Perrin's going to make another fly move because he's only moved once so far this turn and fly five. He's going to fly up to here. Whoop. He's going to go and stand like so. All right, so that's end of round two. Uh, all of the civilians are going to move, so he's going to go off the board. Nearest table edges. We run, run, run. You already won again. This fellow's gonna run four. We're gonna run four. Anybody this game, it doesn't look like. <laughs> Our stuffs, so it's time to see who's going first. All right, so uh, it's going to be the activation roll. I get dice plus four, you get dice plus a Three million dice now. Plus seven. Three dice plus seven. I get so a nine. 13. Yeah, I think you're going first. Go. Um, I'm gonna spend two points to throw my shield at Chernobog. Oh no! Okay, so... So it's a versus shield, so I'll get an extra die for being in cover. Four dice there for Super Soldier Supreme, Trump Trait, and Shield Supreme. Yep. I get two for cover. You crush it. Come on, this could be it. Impress somebody! Nope, not no. quite. Okay. Uh, so I got a... Oh, but I did get a... a... You got two VFX. Two VFX? Yep. So it's gonna be... Do I get the EFX result more than once then? Yep. You can stack them as long as they're the ones that aren't separated by semicolons. Then it's three damage. Okay, he's dead. Um, well, it's not and, it's either or. You pick either of the VFX. You can add as many together as you want, but they have to be individually done. So you get first blood. Back, so you'd actually add them together, so you can knock you back like a whole bunch of inches at the yeah. same time. But you'll get first blood for that. All right, MacFed's gonna go. He's gonna move one. He's gonna move two. He's gonna punch you. He's got Wild Bear at this point. He's got less than seven HP, so he gets plus one to all of his action rolls that are attacks. He's got Trump for uh, another one. He's got Brawler, no wait, Powerhouse doesn't give an extra one. Number's all full HP. I'm just gonna dump all my Powerhouse dice into it and get six dice. I need, well, let's we'll see what happens. Five shields. So. Yeah. Um, You're at 10. Oh, do I want the reroll? I guess I need the reroll. Yeah. No, so I got 10. 10 total, I'm at 13. Uh, and I do generate three VFX, but there's nobody in range. I'm be able to score this little guy as a fan favorite from that. And because I got three VFX, uh, that's a grand total of two, three, four, five damage. I get to make a movement at no fatigue cost. I'm just gonna move over here to bring this little lady into six inches. And so I'm melee seven, wild animal, it's just three dice. You get a, well, it's a good thing it's a reroll. Come on! That's gonna be it. Seven so. Uh, that's gonna be a 12 for me, since it hits just two damage. Whoa, and the A Beast is down! I have the right to bear arms. So Who's activating? Gonna activate Cold Fire. Sounds good. Um, that's projection two range. So he's gonna move up here. That's good. He's gonna flamethrow. Uh, yes, so I'm gonna do Frost Flames at you. Uh oh. So this is two dice. Uh, sorry, dice. Trump. Uh, Trump, two dice because it's combat action and I'm not in base to base. Okay. And this is blast versus shield. Okay. So, so you get a... So I got 12. 12, I can't beat it. Uh, I get a cancel one of your VFX. Okay, so I got 12 I 11 in total. Yep. So that means you take three damage. And I'm almost dead. One more time, this is probably the end of MechVed. He's not feeling so good. Um, yeah, he doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, super dead. <laughs> I cancel one VFX, but you get one, so, so that's another three damage. damage. And he is super dead. We're gonna have uh, the monkey man go, and he is gonna power up first for one. Sorry, so this is... 
This is my monkey man. It's not. It's just oh, a TM number. First, right? So I take a damage, but I'm gonna get four extra attack dice here. Bring your two extra action uh, dice there to your pool from my first action for Mechved, um, and I'm gonna actually power up again with the monkey man. Powering up again. Yep, I might as well I'll take another damage. Uh, I take another two. So another one damage, but I gain another. I have eight attack dice to my next attack. All right, so I'll spend two to attack you now, uh, and that's going to be. At plus eight dice, ten dice with five trump. <laughs> so your total is not good. Five. My total is um, going to be eleven with six VFX. She's gonna do seven damage and throw you. So I take the grab and throw, which means I can place you within six. I'll throw you over there, you hit the wall, and you take two more damage, and that'll blow him up. That was it for him. And then I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna walk over. This uh, background here, actually. I'm gonna go four over this way, like so. Seven's gonna go. And he is gonna move, move. Uh oh. Gonna go ten. Whoop! Take two damage. I did. And then you're in my deployment zone, so you can just drop it if you want. So yeah, I'm gonna stop carrying that around with me. That sounds good. All done. So it's going to be little tank bot. Little tank bot's gonna go. He's gonna go two moves, so six. Two, four, six, up to here. And he's gonna drop the marker, like so. Do you need a spy breaker? Okay. Move one. End of the turn, yeah, he'll tag it. Oh. All right, we're gonna have Gunner go, and he's gonna move three into base to base with this and pick it up. And then he's gonna move three again, and take a point of damage. Whoop, over to here. I'm just gonna go. Try and shoot little red robot gunner. She is gonna try and shoot him. Right row. Okay, so this is precision shot, so it's dodge versus dodge. Okay. So I am, sorry, this is gonna cost me two. And then I am. I'm dodgy three. So you're uh, Trump, so you get two dice. And I'm six. And I'm a three. Hey look, you. I got an eight, so you're 11. And you get one VFX. Okay, so that is gonna do uh, one damage. Okay. And stun. Okay. So I'm already stunned because I'm carrying the object, so I can't be yeah, more stunned. Right, because I got the EFX last time. If the EFX is to power up one, is it power up or power down? Oh, no, no, sorry. Okay. Power, power down powers me down, power up powers yeah, you up. You got, got it. it. So it's a regular shot. You uh, hit me again, and a VFX. So, oh, right. I, I don't know why you sorry. rolled that. Yeah. <laughs> Have it. Uh, take another one. So take another one. Okay. And you continue to now you're stunned. Still twice. stunned. Yeah. You feel free to be really super, super stunned. So he'll self repair once. And he does, because I think it's a two plus. Uh yeah, no, he needs a reroll, he needs a three plus, but it's Trump. Actually he rolls two dice. Nope, so reroll one. Nope, fail. So that was one power dice. He'll spend another power dice to do it again. So that's two power dice. He passes, he heals one. And he'll spend another power dice to do it one more time. And he'll heal again. I'll let him uh, get a VFX off, which means he will self heal for an additional one and become immune to mental actions for a turn. So he's back down to one damage. All right, you're gonna pass. Uh, he's done, he's got one fatigue on him. He's double fatigued. Yep. You've still got an action pull up to two dice. Points. Well, let's have Sneeschenka go. She's gonna move over to this building. Five. Like that for one and be done. You're going to have a little man go. <laughs> He's gonna go his two. We're gonna walk and he walks four with stealth. So he's gonna head over here like so. And then he's gonna pop a shot into her. Two dice for loaded shot there. So it's gonna be strong versus all plus Trump for three dice. I'm uh, shoot four. Sorry, is it shield or is it uh, dodginess? It's against dodginess. Okay. So I got a nine. And you're done, so I'm gonna do some more walks. We're gonna have Monkey Man walk. And he's gonna walk over here. And he walks five with wall crawler, four with wall crawler. So walking with uh, turncoat over to that building. And then Sneeze is just gonna walk slightly over to here. And we're gonna turn four. All the citizens are gonna run away. Right. So you're off. 
Oop, you're just at the table edge. You're not quite at the table not edge. Not you're not quite at the table edge. All right, so citizens have all moved. I've tagged this building and this building, so we're both tied for tagged buildings at this point. Um, the citizenry has all run away, and that's new turn. Fast domination and power up. Oof. 11 eight, uh 11 AP this turn, because I've lost Mechved and I've lost Perrin, which makes me down two. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four guys in six inches of my support model here. You've got eight this turn right now. Yep. And then um, the plus one for... For having your domination card. So yep. you basically automatically got your VFX off for the starting roll. So let's see, I've got a four. You've got a huge number right now, so I got a nine total. Um, so I got... No VFX, you get one reroll. Eight, oh, sorry. Because you can get an additional thing. You don't. So I got... Uh, you win. <laughs> like it's 13. <laughs> to no, my 9. <laughs> no, I got like 17. Okay, to my 9. <laughs> that's a super high number. Because you're at like plus 3 right plus now. Plus 3, plus my brain stat. Plus, plus your brain five. stat. Yeah. I was going to act fast. Um, so you get to pick your first Supreme to go. Okay. So it's going to be Sabotage. Sounds good. Um, so she is going to shoot at your robot with the thing. My robot? Okay. So I'm going to use my power-up dice this time. Sounds good. So this is my precision shot. So this is my dodginess versus your dodginess. And it's dodgy three. And I have Trump right now. Do it. I got a six. You got a no VFX, but ten. you got a total of 10. So you hit me, how much damage? So that is one damage. All right. All right, so I take one damage. Um, I actually was fully healed last turn. I kept been marking damage off of the wrong guy. Uh, so you've got uh, a second shot. Yep. And it's one die. I suck, so you hit me, and do you get a VFX? You do, so I'm stunned too. Um, so, yeah, you're already stunned and one more point of damage. Okay, move a little. Move a lot, actually. Move a lot. Because she's a wall, oh, it doesn't matter, she's a wall crawler because the thing's right here. Okay, robot's gonna go. He's just gonna go six, and then drop the objective, take two damage. So, like so, and then drop it. Bloop. Flybreaker? Yep. I'm gonna move, move. Sounds good. Just means I'm gonna come over here and then do things. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. So I am going to shield slam. Good old turncoat. Turncoat. Okay. We're dicing it. I've got a four. I got a ten. You get a big number and no VFX. I got so an eleven. Hitting. So that is two damage. One damage. Okay. Anything else? Just yeah, one damage. Do it again. Okay, just gonna do it again. Sounds good. You get get the VFX. You do. Uh, so this time it's gonna be two damage. Okay. And that's it. Well, we're just gonna have old Turncoat go, um, and he's going to move. Oh, he's not in base to base, so he's actually gonna use Finisher. So it's one AP and it's a blast. Uh, so it's two because Trump, and you'll gain one AP immediately from your support. So I get two because it's a shoot value. Not That's and he's a different not. thing. I get a ten to your twelve, eleven. 11 so you're gonna move, move. Not that it matters. I can't get in the base space for anybody. So we're just gonna head over here. Double move. Yeah, we'll move back actually to six because I've got stealth. Here's gonna go. Uh, spy breaker to huck my shield at that robot. Not the robot. Robot's only defense. Is that Buzzkill? That's Buzzkill. He's a tank. No, wait. He's a tank. He gets extra defense dice for three. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! <laughs> Not quite. No impressing the civilians. So that's so, 11. Now you hit me. I'm on an eight. So that's, How much damage? Uh, I got one. Oh, no, did you? You got you two trumps. Money, nope. so you got I two got trumps. Three damage. I'm dead. We're gonna have Jumpy Man go. He's gonna move, move. And head eight over to here. Unfortunately, you put down this thing, so I can't do what I want to do. I get two VFX here, I get four power dice. Uh, I'll reroll this because it's Trump. I get one, so I'm gonna get three power dice and a damage. Another one, do it again. Try and power up. Uh, and does it double Trump? Nope, so I take a damage, so it's plus six dice. Our trip takedown against shields here. And you get a grand total of, I get to reroll one. I got 10. You got 10, um, I got 11, uh, and I got one, two, three, four, five VFX. I'm gonna throw you into this so for seven damage, uh, and that'll be the last point I'll kill him. Grab me another civilian, whoop. At the end of all this, uh, there's really nothing else we can do uh, because I can't get over here to tag this building to break the tie on tags. 
Uh, you've got no way to grab objectives. We've both got bombs in our base zones. So at the end of it all, uh, we're going to be tied on real estate. First, got you got first blood. First blood and I got right. fan favorite. So oh, we're gonna is both... it not two? Is it not one for each? No, it's just the oh. most at the end of the game. I so, thought you won, actually. No, That's no, no, funny. no. It's the most at the end of the game. So um, we both get one from the main plot, and then the agendas we get one from each, and that's going to tie us 2-2. Two, two. And there it was, end of the game, tying 2-2, two, two, one each on the plot, um, followed by a grand total of one each on the agendas, uh, and that was it. We didn't manage to pull it off, I didn't manage to tag a third building, um, and it was not possible for either of us to get the bomb out at the end of the game. But definitely felt like from first game to second game, I feel like I have a way better handle Me too, on the yeah. Rules. Like, like, after playing through one game, it feels a lot more intuitive. I'm also really glad that I didn't use a leader in the second game, because we saw how how different the game is about a leader. You, because I'm also really glad you didn't have a leader. Because <laughs> there was well, because you were down in models, but you more than made up for it with your leader bonus for initiative, plus the extra actions you had the one turn, healing plus like up, healing up. Uh, this is big deal, like a super big deal. Um, and I think it's interesting because I think I would always take a leader. It's a big investment. It's three, but just those additional abilities, like being able to um, get like that one turn where you just got to move a guy, plus. Was it move a guy, get an AP, and then you get your VFX basically for free. Yeah. And then you could get an extra one on top of it too, if you managed to actually win me in the roll, which was incredibly likely, but you failed to do almost every game because you rolled like a six and then a handful of ones and twos. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you had a enough stat to of like fight, eight. Not, to win the fight. <laughs> not, not enough to win the fight with 40. Yeah. Um, and I basically, because I, I had no one with the brand tribute that was a, a Trump, I, I almost gave up the initiative every turn automatically. Yeah. Like my highest was four with no Trump, so I didn't get any rerolls. I only had one dice in the roll, um, and that was it. And I guess I could maybe use power dice against it. So like Mechved could do it, but Mechved's brain ability is not that high. <laughs> it's like a three. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so it was it was very- Do what the bear <laughs> says. We did, we did learn one thing in this game, which was in bear versus armadillo. Bear wins. Bear wins, bear wins. Bear wins. Bear wins. Also powering up a monkey to like insane levels is amazing. Prisoner 176, I was super impressed with. He's slow, but he makes up for it by having the reach attack. And then being able to just whip people around was amazing too. Cause he ran in there with melee five. The problem is you gotta send him against the right things. Cause he's science and most of your guys are nature. So I don't win the ties. So as soon as I'm fighting somebody who's got a defensive six or higher, I can't win. I if feel like six. this should be one of those don't try this at home things. So like don't don't go attaching extra limbs to your house pets. It's true. No, you wouldn't it's want to. It's not how that. science is meant to it's be. It's not how science is meant to be. Um, but he does damage himself every time he does it. So if I did twice per turn, I'm taking four damage. And all the damage I did to him in this game, I applied to him from powering him up. Um, getting the civilians right this game felt different because it definitely meant that you had to go for the early game civilian objectives. And if you let them go, you weren't likely to get them later on because they've all scattered to the edge of the yeah, board and run away. The end of the game. Yeah, there's only a couple left on the table at the end of it all, which makes sense. They're fleeing a war zone. Like they're gonna run away. No matter how impressed they are with what you're doing, they're just going to take off. Like Some of them stand and clap politely while you do things and the rest of them just book off the table. Um, other stuff, uh, we did forget, I think, for at least one activation roll, the VFX for the starting roll. Yeah. Because we only remembered them after you played your card and we were like, oh yeah, we got those every game. I don't think it was relevant in any because, again, it was like, I was just being crushed, so <laughs> it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter if any of those came up. Um, and I couldn't, I was only ever on one dice, so I was never able to cancel any of yours anyway. Uh, and yeah, and that was really it. So a lot of fun. It was definitely um, playing a bigger game. Wasn't necessarily longer, which I liked, because no, we just took bigger stuff. Yeah. And it's uh, it felt like in the first game, like it felt like if you didn't get lucky, it was really hard to take somebody out. Yeah. Whereas in this game, like because you could use two or three guys to, to go after the same guy, and you didn't have to finish their activations all the way. You could creep up a little yeah. bit, get in range, wait for them to come back in, and then go jump on them. I didn't do that at all in the first it, game. No, no, neither did I. Because we, we just kind of did our activate. We were playing it more like we played other miniature games that right. act like this, like we're playing the Marvel or DC game, we're playing Malifaux, where you just complete a model's activation. We keep forgetting that unless they've spent their whole action pool and are exhausted, and even if they're not exhausted they can just keep going so guys can do stuff when you're at actions it's just managing that action pool for your special actions that really matters it's your action pool and your fatigue yeah and your Sweet. fatigue yeah and then of course you have all kinds of ways of earning action points for the turn too with mm -hmm. um what's her face sabotage. Uh, sabotage who is like impossible to take out early in the game because she's crazy dodgy and you only ever roll three dice against her which is nuts 
um, it meant that uh, that you always basically had that in place. So I was always handing off. I'd be very careful what my first action was in return, or I'm handing two dice or three dice or four dice yeah. to you throughout the course of the game. So powering up the monkey seems like a logical thing to do against you first turn, because then you just get one die from it. Right. Um, or using my finisher pistol on what's his name. Um, but yeah, you don't want to do any big actions first, because otherwise you're going to lose them all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you do want to come down and play some um, Pulp City with me and Jay, we're more than happy to play you. Uh, just uh, give me an email, girlminishgames.gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement in the streets. Um, we're probably going to work on some other stuff. Jay's got a whole bunch of just models from the first edition, yep. which we have to get cards for uh, to work on secondary factions because we're both getting close to having painted everything we have for the two factions we have and we both like playing games where we run Another faction because then we're at home, we can teach John painting. Play. What's that? I'm oh. sorry, <laughs> I finished the internet and finished painting my miniature collection. Um, <laughs> so we'll probably do some more of that in the future, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time for more Pulp City. Till then, I'm Ash. This is Jay. Have a poor game.